pumpkin on Wednesday, the 27th of May. We'll be using the traditional language version and we shall be saying Psalm 91. <coughs> The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Beloved, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord who hath made heaven and earth. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, to our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our God and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies, tread under foot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. Our Father, that we ask thee down, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Whoso dwelleth under the defence of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my hope and my stronghold. My God, in him will I trust, for he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter and from the noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings and thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness and truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the, destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold. And see the reward of the ungodly, for thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou hast set thine house of defence very high. There shall no evil happen unto thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Thou shalt bear thee in thy hands, that thou hurt not thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt go upon the lion and, lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou tread under thy feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. 
I will set him up because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honour. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace. According to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, Lord, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. <laughs>